one wants to go to Disneyland, one has to save your own money to go to Disneyland and not bum it off of other people. And you can't get upset if they say no to taking you to Disneyland on their money. That's weird. Hi there, Amaru. Welcome to my video. It's been a while. I'm aware. I'm sorry. I've been having a hard time, okay? Your girl's been a little depressed, so I took a little break. But I'm back now. And I hope you are too, and that you want to hear some hilarious Reddit stories and judge the hell out of them. <laughs> Welcome back to Am I the Asshole? Starring you and me. No, we're not the assholes though, but like we're judging, yes. Okay, makes sense. Today I want to talk about a story that includes entitlement. Also the word nibbling, which means your siblings' children, just so it's clear. Am I the asshole for not taking my nibblings to Disneyland? To keep this short, I have a sister who is not financially well off. I, on the other hand, have a lot more money. My wife and I love to travel and we also love to bring our children along. We typically go overseas once or twice a year and we do travel a fair bit within the country. The United States, by the way, this is taking place in the United States. For my daughter's birthday, we will be going to Disneyland this winter. I mean, if Corona's gonna allow you, but that's another story. During a family event, my niece came up to me and asked if she and her sister could come to Disneyland with us. I was pretty confused because they are pretty young, 8 and 10. My own children are 14 and 12 and it would be a massive hassle to take care of the four of them. I told her sorry. This trip was just my family. She nodded and began crying to her mother. I did not think too much of this because it's just an expected reaction from an eight-year-old girl. But then my sister came up to me and asked me to take her children to Disneyland. I once again told her that managing four children would be tough, especially considering the youngest is eight. She got upset, saying my children are getting all these experiences and more, while hers were getting jealous. I recommended that she take her children to Disneyland, and she began crying because she did not have the money. I told her Disneyland was not cheap. We would be shelling out a couple thousand dollars. She still begged me, and I once again refused. She then called me greedy, and I countered that if she or her husband had worked for it, she could have been able to provide for her children. She then ran away crying and called me an asshole. Am I the asshole? This is a tough one. I mean, I feel like if someone has already told you no, then like harassing them and calling them greedy is really rude. So I feel like that's probably what made the guy be like, no, like if you had enough money, you could take your own children and I'm not about to pay like a bunch of money to take your kids to something. Like, and also turn my vacation into babysitting a lot of young children, yeah. But let's see, let's see what the uh, commenters think. Everyone sucks here. You don't suck because you're not taking your nieces with you, but because of your comment of, if she or her husband had worked for it, she could have been able to provide for her children. Do you think they want to be in the financial situation they're in? You can't just magically get a high paying job. Even people with multiple degrees and years of experience don't always get the job they deserve. Your sister sucks because of her entitlement. Just because you have more money does not mean you have to take her young children with you on holiday that's far away. I understand it's hard to hear her children complaining about not being able to go to the places your children go, but that's unfortunately how things are sometimes. Yeah, that's true. But then someone else commented. I'm betting Original Poster knows more about the financial situation of his sister than you do. Sometimes circumstances are not in your control. But there's other times that one really should be able to get it together with the priorities. I've seen some crazy behavior from people who probably shouldn't be in charge of their own finances. Like, don't be crying to me that your transmission needs rebuilding and you can't afford it, but I just saw you max out your credit card by buying a $1,200 purse. Yeah, that's the thing too. Like, that's why I didn't immediately feel like, oh, he's also an asshole, because I feel like the kind of people who feel entitled to other people's money just because they're family or other people's money if they're strangers too, are often the kind of people who um, are frivolous with their own money and probably, you know, could do better with it, if you know what I mean. 
that's my experience at least like the times that I've encountered people who always say they're broke and are really bad financially sometimes those people just have really shitty priorities and you know maybe that's why he snapped at her also because she kept trying to manipulate him like anyone who tries to get their small children riled up and be like go ask your uncle to take you to Disneyland are kind of fucked up people <laughs> because you're only going to end up with two results of that. Either you've then manipulated your brother and like basically forced him to take your children, which is not okay, like you're emotionally blackmailing him, or your kid is gonna get hella upset because that person actually has a backbone and says no. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think any person who sends their children to go ask like this by like getting the kids excited by like, I don't know, like getting them to go ask making it seem like if they just go ask uncle he's gonna take you and then also feels entitled that he has to take them is yeah like she is the one who has to provide for her children he provides for his like that's how it goes like if you want your kids to have disney world you know you have to have the means to do that you can't just assume that other people will do it for you you know what i mean kind of torn on this situation but I'm going to say he's not the asshole because I just get the feeling like she has some more entitled stuff going on in her personality that makes him <laughs> makes him react like this you know what I mean yeah but I would love to hear what you think what do you think like do you think everyone's an asshole here like do we think he sucks and her or do you think just one of them do like comment below I would love to hear it this is this is a this is a difficult one I would love to hear your opinion I hope you enjoy that and that you'll come Bye for my videos, now that I'm posting again, I'm gonna try my bestest, and uh, yeah, I hope you've been doing well while I was gone. Hope everyone has, and I'm sending a hug. Okay. Thank you so much to my wonderful patrons, Catbra, Madalena Vurska, Cami, Ellie, Very Floppy, and Reveille. If anyone's interested in becoming a patron, there's a link below. Sorry that I haven't been posting. I've been having a hard time. I hope you have patience with me, all of you, and that you come back. Keep my channel alive. You're awesome. Okay, love you, bye.